Hello, welcome. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're gonna to be talking about mean versus median and also how to find the mean and median in different uh, statistical pieces of output. So we will also talk about which is better to choose as a measure of center for describing a distribution based on different scenarios. So here's our first scenario. It's a distribution or a histogram of um, ages. And what you'll notice if we were to draw our curve around this is this would be extremely right skewed. So remember that there's skewness happening. If it's on the right hand side, we would describe it as being right skewed. The skewness is happening because of these values in here that would be considered outliers. And when you have outliers in your data, they're going to significantly affect your mean. It will pull the mean in its direction. So that's a bad thing. We don't want a few individuals to affect the center measurement. And so we don't want it to be the case that these individuals can pull the mean out. And so in that situation, in a situation where you have very skewed data, the center that you would want to choose would be the median because it's robust, meaning it won't move when you have a distribution or you have outliers present pulling on your center. Here you can see a box plot where there are some outliers, but for the most part, this data is actually very symmetric. So even though there are outliers, there are actually outliers on both ends of the females. And yes, there's one outlier for males, but it's not really that big of a deal since there's only one based on this data. So if you look at a SPSS output or a statistical computing package output, you should notice because this data is fairly symmetric that the mean and median are approximately equal because if you have a symmetric data set the mean and median will be very close to each other so let's see if that's true so here we have the mean for females and this is a sample so this would be x bar so this you can see is 7.051 the median for females is seven, so you can see those are almost exactly the same, and that happened because that distribution is very symmetric. So for males, we have a mean of 6.891, and the median you can see down here is seven. And those are approximately equal because the distribution was symmetric. So if you have a symmetric data set, you would choose the mean, and you'll also notice that the mean and median are approximately equal in symmetric data sets. So for this data, because the graph is symmetric, I would expect my mean and median to be approximately right here, which is actually what we just saw. The mean and median are about seven, and that's where the center of this data set would be. So I appropriately would want to choose the mean to describe the center for this distribution. But in the first distribution that we saw that was very right skewed, I would choose the median. Now, in a situation, and I'm gonna give you three different scenarios, we've seen one. So we've seen this situation where we have a very symmetric data set. And we said here that the median, so the center, and the mean would be approximately equal because this data set is symmetric. So approximate symmetry, remember that one example I gave you did have some outliers, but because of the size of that data set, those outliers aren't very impactful. Then you could have a data set that kind of looks like this. And maybe you have an outlier out here. Now, what would be the shape of that? We would draw it, our tail drags to the right, so we would call this right skewed. Now in this data set, you still have median, right? Median, right there. Use a different color. This one right here, that's gonna be the median. However, what would happen with this outlier? How would that affect the center or X bar? Would it stay there or would it account for that outlier? Yes, it would account for that outlier, so it would be dragged out. And so in this situation where you have skewness, you would wanna choose the median to measure your center because this one is impacted by that outlier. Also, because this is being dragged out, if this is a number line, we would expect the median to be less than the mean. 
because of where the median is located and the fact that the mean is pulled out, we would expect in this situation to have the median be less than the mean. So in this situation, we have our distribution that has an outlier on this side, and because it's being pulled in this direction, remember that we would call this particular distribution left skewed because the tail or drag is happening on the left-hand side. Here, the middle of the distribution is still gonna be here. The median is that center of the bulk of the data. But what would happen to the mean? Always the mean has to adjust for where those outliers are located. So the mean is gonna be pulled in this direction, depending on the size or extremeness of the outlier and the size of your data set would depend on how far out it's being pulled. But essentially that mean is gonna be pulled in this direction. So in this situation, the median is a better measure of center because remember it's robust. Also in this situation, we would expect the mean to be less than the median because of the location or where it's being pulled. So here we would choose to use X bar or our average as a me measure of center. Here we would choose to use the median because that skewness is affecting the mean. Same is true down here. And remember, when you choose to use the mean to measure center, the appropriate variability measurement that goes with that is gonna be standard deviation. However, if you choose the median, a better measure for variability would be IQR. Standard deviation is affected the same way as the mean because standard deviation uses the mean to calculate itself. That's why we would choose IQR and the median because those are robust against outliers. Okay, I'll see you in future videos to talk more about some numeric summaries for one quantitative variable.